This is my mama's makeup and crochet channel. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since my last crochet tutorial and this time it's actually not a tutorial for a shawl but for a beach cover-up which is called the Cameron Beach Cover-Up Dress named after my second daughter, Justice Cameron. This is easy to make and you can actually customize the design because this tutorial is more with the assembly process or the concept of two granny squares joined together to form a dress. So basically, you can make any size or dress length you want, whether you want it to be a maxi dress, a midi, or a mini dress, with any kind of crochet square using any yarn you feel suitable to use for this project. For example, with this one, I used the classic granny square design, and with this other one, I followed a tutorial from Bag o Day Crochet. So this is the Galaxy Granny Square there in the middle part. And I did the rest freehand to make a bigger square. Also, with the straps, you may make them straight like this. Okay, or crisscross like this one. Or halter or tie back, whatever your preferred style is. Anyway, I don't have two small granny squares right now that could fit in the camera view, so I will use these hankies instead for demonstration. So we have here, let's pretend, two granny squares. So to form our Cameron dress, we will connect them like so. So let's put these two squares together. Okay, so the right sides out okay so this is the right side and this is the right side okay let's put them in this position so this is the top part these corners right there will be where we will put the straps on this is the front side of the dress right there so uh, this is the chest part and there is the v-shaped neckline Okay, and this part going down here, we will sew or crochet together. So it's up to you how you want to connect them. But later, I will have the tutorial on how I did mine, which is the join as you go process of connecting granny squares. And uh, for now, I will just use safety pins to connect these squares together just for the demo. Now going back to this position, again this is the top part where we will have the straps later. And this part will be the back of the dress. Later I will show the measurements I used but for now let's just say up to here. Okay, So this will be the opening on the back part. The V part on the back is of course bigger or deeper than the front part then we will sew or crochet this part together okay so as you can see it's as simple as connecting these two squares together like so crocheting these sides of the squares together and these sides as well leaving enough opening here based on your measurements So with this dress, for this part, I left 7 inches here, so 7 inches and 7 here as well, okay? And on the back part, I left 15 inches, so there, 15 inches and then 15 inches there. Also later, as part of the tutorial, I will show how to make these straps. But for this little demo, or preview if you will, I'm going to use these ribbons for the straps. Okay. 
I'm going to leave the straps like that because this is the halter tie back style. And here is our dress. Again, here is our dress with two squares connected on this part, which is the front of the dress. And this is the V-shaped neckline right here. And uh, this is the back of the dress. We joined the two squares together here. Okay, with these sides unattached to each other, leaving enough length for the open part. There. I will just put this tiny dress on a doll, okay? I have here my daughter's doll. And the name of our little visitor here is Emma. We have the straps tied on the back, right there. And now, Emma has a new dress. So here we go. Say hello to Emma in her new Cameron dress. So uh, that is how we make a dress using two granny squares. Moving on, the length of the dress will depend on the size of the squares. Of course, the bigger your granny squares are, the longer your dress will be. With this one, each side of the granny square is 38 inches long and it's already a floor length dress for me. I'm only 5'1 by the way, 5 feet 1 inch in height. So if you're making this dress for someone shorter than I am, you may want to make your square smaller. Or if we have the same height and you want the dress shorter, make your square smaller too. For this dress, I used 3 millimeters crochet hook and I've used up two cakes of fingering weight 8-ply fine cotton yarn, one cake for each granny square, and each cake is approximately 300 grams, so a total of around 600 grams of yarn. That's why these granny squares are really big. The granny squares I'm using for the tutorial later are actually smaller only approximately 27 to 28 inches and would only make a mini dress or maybe just a top for someone taller or with a bigger build. Again, you can make any crochet square you want, but I will be making the basic or the classic granny square. This is 8-ply fine cotton yarn from Ashley's Crochet and this is fingering weight. The cake is 245 grams and I will be making two granny squares from it. The name of this yarn mix is Cornfield. I will be using a Tulip Etimo Rose 3.5 mm crochet hook. You don't have to use the same type of yarn or hook size in this project, but I suggest a not too bulky or stiff yarn so the dress will have a nice flowy look. We will start with a magic ring, okay, leaving a tail long enough to weave in later. Okay, and then we will chain three. So one, two, three. And that will count as a double crochet. Okay, and a double crochet and another double crochet and now we have like three double crochets into the ring that's including the three chains we did in the beginning okay and then we will chain two and then three double crochets into the ring okay so one two and three double crochets and then chain two again three double crochets into the ring okay two and three and again chain two and another set of three double crochets into the ring so one 
oops two and three okay close the ring okay and now we have four sets of three double crochets into the ring okay double check okay so we have four and now we will make two more chains and to end the row slip stitch on top of that three chain we did in the beginning okay so slip stitch into that third chain right there and that is the end of our row one those four two chain spaces are actually the corners of our granny square to begin row two and we will do this in the beginning of each row by the way slip stitch into every stitch here until we reach the chain two space which is the corner of our square okay so there you go this is just so we could start each row on the corner every time okay so yes now row two again chain three which counts as a double crochet and two double crochets into that uh, chain two space chain two then three double crochets into the same chain two space okay which is the corner okay and now we have our first corner for row two right there chain one and on the corner three double crochets into the chain two space and then chain two and then three more double crochets into that same chain two space and that is our second corner right there chain one and again three double crochets so this is how we work the corner every time okay so three double crochets chain two and then three double crochets again okay and that is our corner number three for row two okay chain one and then work the corner again so that would be three double crochets into that chain two space okay chain two and three more double crochets into that chain two space which is the corner okay there we go that is our last corner chain one and we will slip stitch on top of that three chains okay and our row two is done and now row three again to start each row slip stitch into every stitch here until we reach the corner two chain space okay and now chain three which counts as a double crochet two more double crochets right there and then chain two and three double crochets again into that same chain two space oops and three and that is our first corner chain one three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row okay so one oops two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one and we are now at the corner again so that would be three double crochets into that two chain space okay and then chain two and again three double crochets into that same two chain space okay right there three and that is our second corner okay so again chain one three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row Okay, and three chain one and again the corner 
Okay, so that would be three double crochets. Two, three, chain two, and then three double crochets into that same two chain space, which is the corner from the previous row. Okay, so that's our corner number three right there. Okay, chain one, three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row. Okay, chain one, and then corner again. So three double crochets, one, two, three, and then chain two, and then three double crochets again into that same space, uh, chain space. So one, two, three. Okay, and that's corner number four. And chain one, three double crochets into that chain one space. Okay, so one, two, and three. Okay, chain one, and to end the row, slip stitch into that chain three right there, okay, on top of that chain three, and we are done with row three. And again, to start the next row, slip stitch into each stitch until we reach the corner okay that two chain space anyway i will continue doing all these steps it's basically the same for every row same stitches for every row okay so we will continue doing that until we make our granny square bigger okay so for me the size i want would be halfway through my yarn cake because i want to make two granny squares with this yarn cake here okay so uh, after this first granny square, I will be making the second one. Okay, anyway, this is your basic or classic granny square. If you don't find my tutorial very clear, there are tons of tutorials here on YouTube. And also you may use or choose a different kind of granny square or a different kind of crochet square to use for this dress. So I've used up approximately 116 grams of yarn for this first granny square with 35 rows and approximately 27 to 28 inches length on each side. The second granny square is still unfinished with one more row to go because I'm going to connect the two granny squares using the join as you go method, which I will be demonstrating in a bit. Now I have two large granny squares that I will be connecting together to form the dress. The size of these two squares could make a mini dress, but if for someone taller or for a larger size, this could already be just a top. As I have mentioned earlier, these corners right here will be the top part where we connect the straps. Okay, And this goes all the way to the back. Okay. I'm going to make the same size I did for the other dresses I made, which is my size. So this would fit from medium to large. I would put my marker here. Okay, so I will leave 15 inches length. Okay, so right there. And then I will crochet the granny squares together up to here okay so from here to here okay i will stop crocheting or sewing the squares together for the back part here of course you can customize the size if you want it in the small size you can just leave a 13 or 14 inches length here so the open part would be smaller okay so if i move my marker here okay so that's about an inch so the opening will be two inches smaller right because i took one inch here and one inch there okay so i hope i'm being clear on this 
So if I want the open part even smaller, I would move my marker even farther up here, okay, from there, okay. So from this corner to that stitch marker spot, it would only be 13 inches approximately, okay. So it's the same if I want it bigger from large to extra large maybe, I will just move this marker farther down here so the open part will be bigger okay or maybe if i want a deeper v design on the back well anyway i know you get the idea okay so if you want this in a bigger size so you can join up to here okay that stitch marker right there and if you want it smaller move up here and here Okay, so it's as simple as that. Anyway, I'm now going to crochet these two granny squares together. And like I've said, there are several ways to do so. You may look it up here on YouTube to get ideas. But for me, I want to do the join as you go method. So what I did here is that I have the first granny square with 35 rows and this second one still only has 34 rows because i will be crocheting the 35th or the last row while connecting it to the first granny square and here is the end of row 34 i already did slip stitches up to the corner and let's start with three chains which count as a double crochet then two more double crochets into the corner chain space Okay, so there. So uh, this is a part of the row on this side. Now I will start crocheting the row on this other side while connecting it to the other granny square. Okay. In the corner, I will chain one instead of the usual two chains. And then I will insert my hook into this uh, chain space of the other granny square okay so uh, insert hook grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay or you know slip stitch and then we will go back to working on our uh, chain space here in the corner so uh, three double crochets into that corner chain space two and three Okay, and now instead of chaining one, okay, we will slip stitch into that chain space of the uh, other granny square. Okay, so I will I will insert hook into that chain space, grab yarn, and pull through the loop on the hook. Okay, and now we are once again connected to that other granny square, and three double crochets into that chain one space okay so one two and three okay so once again we will slip stitch into that chain one space of the other granny to join them together okay so insert hook into the chain space Okay, grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook. And once again, they're joined on that part. So again, we will make three double crochets into that chain one space of the previous row. Okay, so one and two and three. Okay, and again, instead of chaining one, we will slip stitch into that chain one space of the other granny square. Okay, so this is how we do the join as you crochet or join as you go method of connecting or joining two granny squares. So uh, we are doing the last row on this 
granny square while we are connecting it to the completed one okay so that's it all right let's continue and we will do a few more stitches okay so three double crochets into that chain one space okay okay sorry one two and three and again slip stitch into that chain space of the other granny square okay so insert hook grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook so once again they're connected that way okay anyway we will continue crocheting those stitches all the way here okay and i'll meet you when we get there again if i want my dress made for a bigger size or have a deep v design on the back i could stop connecting the two squares together here or maybe here but i want a medium to large size for me and i did trial and error with the first dress i made and this is where i landed okay so again that is 15 inches from this corner okay so i will keep going some more up to here and we are now at the stitch marker of course if you want your dress in a smaller size you can keep going and uh, maybe close these two together maybe up to here or here depending on the size you want okay anyway that is the last section okay there where i will be joining the two granny squares together okay now i will just keep on crocheting the last row of this uh, granny square that i'm still working on without connecting it to the other granny square okay so uh, three double crochets into that chain one space okay chain one three double crochets into that chain one space again okay chain one and three double crochets into that chain one space okay so basically it's just the usual row for our basic granny square okay so we will continue working on that last row until we reach this corner and i'll meet you there and we are now here at the corner so uh, chain one three double crochets into that corner chain two space okay so three double crochets and then chain two and three double crochets into that same chain two space okay and that is our corner okay so chain one and then i will continue working this last row on this side up to this uh, point somewhere here because this is the front of the dress remember and this is the v shaped neckline right there so uh, that is approximately seven inches from the corner to this point where i have the stitch marker okay so i will continue working on this side to match the number of stitches or length on the other side of the granny square okay so right there and this is where we will start joining the two granny squares again and I'll see you in a little bit when I get to this point. Now I've worked the last row on this side, okay? And now I need to make sure that this matches the other side right here, okay? Because this is, again, the front part of the dress. And those corners are where our straps are gonna go, okay? I'm just making sure that they match. To check, I will count these sets of three double crochets, okay? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, other side, 
one two three four five six seven eight nine and now we are ready to again join the two granny squares together okay so starting here okay so insert your hook into that chain one space of the other granny square right there and make a slip stitch okay so grab the yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay and let's go back here so uh, three double crochets into that chain one space okay so one two and three okay so again insert your hook into that chain one space of the other granny square and make a slip stitch okay so grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay so one more time <laughs> three double crochets into that chain one space so it's just the same thing we did when we joined the back part of our dress okay so i will continue doing these uh, stitches right here joining the two granny squares together until we reach this corner and i'll meet you here we are now almost at the corner okay so uh insert hook into this uh, chain space right here grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay and now three double crochets into this corner chain two space okay and then chain one and insert your hook into that chain two corner space of the other granny square and then grab yarn and pull through the loop on the hook okay and now we are going back here three double crochets into that chain two corner space and we're done with our corner and now we are done joining the two granny squares together okay i will just continue finishing this last row for this granny square so the last row here Okay, so again, three double crochets into that chain one space. Okay, two and three, chain one and three double crochets into that chain one space from the previous row. Okay, so anyway, again, it's just your usual basic granny square row and i will just keep going and i'll do that all the way here okay and up to this part right here which is our uh, beginning three chains okay for this last row okay and i'll meet you here to finish this last row Okay, I'm going to chain one and I will slip stitch on top of these uh, three chains in the beginning. Okay, so slip stitch into that third chain. Okay, and we are done with our last row. Okay, and we can end this here, but if you want to make a border, you may choose any border you want. Okay, since uh, this is the bottom part of the dress. But as for me, I don't have enough yarn to make an elaborate border. So I will go with just a row of single crochets. Okay, so I will just make single crochets all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one. And then single crochet into that same stitch. Okay, and single crochet into the next and single crochet into the next okay and single crochet into that chain space single crochet here also into that chain space and single crochet on top of that double crochet single crochet on top of that 
double crochet and single crochet into the next okay and then single crochet into that chain one space so it's just single crochet on every stitch all the way around okay and again this is optional if you don't want a border that's fine and if you also want a more intricate one it's up to you okay so i will just keep going and finish this row of single crochets and i'll meet you here at the end and we are now going to make our last single crochet okay so there single crochet and slip stitch into the first single crochet we did earlier okay so there and pull up the yarn and we will cut it later anyway i will be weaving all the ends after i'm done with the project okay and next we will be working on the top part of the dress all right so we are now at the back part of our dress okay so this is the back and this is the front okay so uh, these corners are where we are going to attach our straps onto okay and i put some markers here and this point right here is where we will connect the straps from here to here and from here to here so uh, for your reference again i'm medium to large okay and from this right here so this is the center part of our back of our dress okay so from there to the stitch marker here it's about five inches okay so five inches here and of course five inches here as well okay and again for my size i will be crocheting a strap that is going to be 15 inches long okay i mean two straps okay so from here 15 inches and 15 inches also on the other side of course you may use any pattern for your strap and also any style of uh, strap that you would like okay so if you want to uh, for example make it into a halter tie back please crochet a uh, longer strap okay maybe at least 24 inches here okay and 24 inches here okay so that you would have enough length to uh, tie on the back of your neck okay into a knot or a bow anyway like i've mentioned earlier i will just be doing the straight style okay from here to here also you don't need to have the same measurements i have here okay you can adjust it to your preference so if you want your straps closer to the side you may do that you can move your marker here but with that you might also need to adjust the length of your strap okay so it should be shorter okay and also if you want to move your marker closer to the center maybe right here okay so you might also need to make your straps longer okay so as for me uh, okay uh, i will be doing 15 inches long here right so if i move it closer to the center right there i might need to add an inch or two to the length of the straps also if you're making the dress in a different size you may need to change the length of the straps if for a larger size you might need to add an inch or two and for a smaller size the strap should be of course shorter so i will start by making a row of single crochets from here all the way up here the corner where i will be making the first strap and then continue the single crochet row up to this corner for the second strap anyway i will show every step in this tutorial 
okay so here is where I will connect the strap later right so what I will do is start the single crochet row on this spot right here so we will begin with a slip knot okay leaving a tail long enough for weaving in later okay and then we will make a standing single crochet right here okay so that is a standing single crochet okay and then next single crochet on every stitch so single crochet on top of that double crochet single crochet on the next double crochet and single crochet on the next okay and then single crochet into that chain one space okay let's just move this marker to the other side okay and then of course single crochet on top of every stitch okay so there single crochet and single crochet okay single crochet into that chain one space anyway this is a single crochet row so we will just continue doing that all the way from here up to our corner and i will meet you when we get there and we are now at the corner to begin our strap slip stitch into that corner chain two space okay and then chain two and we will be making a double crochet cluster into that chain two space okay so yarn over insert hook into that chain space grab yarn and pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops okay so it's like making a double crochet but we're not going to finish it okay instead we're going to make another one of that okay so yarn over insert hook into that chain space grab yarn okay grab yarn and pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops okay only two loops okay and one more time yarn over insert hook into that chain space grab yarn and pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops only okay and now we have four loops on the hook okay grab yarn and pull through all four loops okay and that is our first set okay so chain three and we will be making another double crochet cluster and this time it's through that first chain that we did okay so double crochet cluster into that first chain okay so yarn over insert hook into that chain grab yarn pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops okay one more time yarn over insert hook into that chain grab yarn pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops another one yarn over insert hook into that chain grab yarn pull up a loop grab yarn and pull through two loops okay and now grab yarn and pull through all four loops on the hook okay one more time so chain three double crochet cluster into that first chain all right one, two, and three. Okay, and then pull through all four loops and then chain three again. I honestly couldn't remember where I got this pattern from because I've been using this for a long time. Anyway, you may choose a different pattern or any design that you want there are several tutorials here on youtube well uh, i will just keep going until i reach 15 inches of this pattern and i will see you later and our strap is now approximately 15 inches long and we are going to connect this to the back part of the dress okay so let's uh, 
remove this stitch marker. Okay, insert hook into that chain space, grab yarn. Now we have two loops on our hook, grab yarn and pull through two loops. So it's like the uh, single crochet stitch, okay? But I will secure that connection some more. So what I will do is I will find the middle of the set right here. So remember we have a cluster of three double crochets and chain two right there, okay? So I will find the second double crochet. Okay, so right there, let's pull this apart. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so it's there. Okay, wait. All right, so let's find that second double crochet. Okay, so there you are. Let's insert the hook into that. Grab yarn and pull up a loop. Okay, so now we have two loops on the hook insert the hook back into that chain space okay and then grab yarn and pull through two loops okay and now i will chain three okay so one two three and i will find that chain right there where we have our double crochet cluster okay so insert hook into that chain and make a slip stitch okay so again chain three and then find that chain where we have the double crochet cluster insert hook and then a slip stitch okay so again, I'm just doing this because I want to go back to the beginning of our strap. I don't want to cut the yarn right after I have connected it to the back part of the dress because I don't really like weaving ends. Anyway, that's how we can go back to the beginning here, okay? Right there. So right after that, okay, after we get there, we will continue our row of single crochet so again chain three insert hook into the chain and slip stitch okay and we will keep doing that until we reach the beginning of our strap right there and i'll meet you there so we're almost back to the beginning of our strap so we'll one two three chains and then we will slip stitch into that two chain space okay so the corner two chain space slip stitch and then we will continue our row of single crochets okay so single crochet into that next stitch single crochet on top of that next double crochet single crochet into that double crochet and single crochet into that chain one space okay and then single crochet into the next space okay so it's just single crochet on every uh, stitch okay until we reach the corner right here where we are going to make our second strap okay and i'll see you there and we are now here at the corner okay and we are done with our row of single crochets from here to there and now we are just going to do the same thing we did to make our first strap okay and now we are going to make our second strap so slip stitch into that two chain space chain two and again our double crochet cluster so basically it's the exact same thing we did with our first strap so if you have to you may go ahead and go back to that section of this video to watch the tutorial okay up to the part where we were able to go back to the beginning of the strap 
to continue our row of single crochets okay so for now what I will do is keep doing this and try to finish this second strap okay to match the length I will count the number of sets of the chain three and double crochet cluster on the first strap okay so uh, right there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so we have here 24 sets of double crochet cluster and three chains okay and that's the same number of sets that i will make for this second strap okay so i will continue making the strap off camera and after that i will connect it here to where i have the stitch marker so that's where we will connect our second strap okay and of course after that the sets of three chains and slip stitch okay our way to be able to go back to the beginning of the strap and then i will meet you here and we are back here to the beginning of the strap we are done with the last step okay the three chains and slip stitch okay so this is our last slip stitch okay into the corner two chain space then we will continue our row of single crochets so single crochet on top of that double crochet okay single crochet on top of that next double crochet okay and single crochet on the next one and single crochet into that chain one space and single crochet again onto the next so uh, we will continue making single crochets on every stitch okay until we reach the part where we have our first single crochet the standing single crochet we did at the beginning okay and i will see you there and we are almost at the end okay we just need to slip stitch into that standing single crochet so right there and there we are done okay so uh, let's pull up the yarn and we'll cut it later okay and i will also do all the ends later okay i will weave in all the ends later and we are done with our dress and this is the cameron beach cover-up dress the beauty of this dress is that like what i have mentioned earlier you can customize it to the design that you want from the straps to the crochet square pattern that you want to use and also the length of the dress you can make it into a maxi dress a midi or a mini dress and also with this part right here the v-shaped neckline you can make it deeper if you want if you want that your bikini top would still be showing okay you can do that i'm actually planning on making another one with a super deep v right there maybe up to the belly button i am planning to just put an i cord or a lace to lace the two sides together okay you know something like what you do with a corset anyway another good thing about this is that since it's a beach cover up it can be loose you know it doesn't have to be perfectly tailored to the wearer okay as long as it's not too big that it's falling off the person wearing it or it's too tight that it's so uncomfortable well thank you so much for dropping by i hope that you would try to make this cameron dress your questions or suggestions are always welcome you may just comment down below and i will do my best to respond so anyway thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video 
subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell button so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video see you on the next one bye like if you like this video subscribe if you love it share if you care thank you for watching bye